Someone recently asked a question about uh, fasting. Is it good for the liver? Is it going to cause any damage? It's very good for the liver. The liver is one of the only organs that can completely regenerate if you have at least 25% of your liver left. So it takes a beating, but it can actually rebound. So on this side, we have what happens when you're eating, and this side is when, when you're not eating or you're fasting. So let's say, for example, you're gonna do an 18-hour fast. So that would mean that you ate at 12 noon and your second meal at six o'clock. So that's a six-hour eating window. That would be when really all the good things start happening. Now, if you fast longer for that and you get to 20 hours, that's even better, but that's a really good sweet spot. A lot of people are just doing one meal a day and that's even better if you can do it, especially for regenerating liver function. One of the biggest things that is going to happen when you're fasting is you're gonna deplete your glycogen reserve. So in a very short period of time, there's not gonna be any more stored sugar in the liver. In the muscle, yes, but not in the liver. So now all that fat on the liver can then be used as fuel after the glycogen has been tapped out. And by the way, glycogen is just stored sugar. Many people have a fatty liver and they don't even realize they have a fatty liver unless they do a test, ultrasound or a CAT scan or an MRI. But one easy way to know that you have a fatty liver is just looking down and seeing if you have a stomach. If you have a gut, chances are you have a fatty liver. So by doing fasting, you can release the fat from the liver and use that as energy. So you're reversing a fatty liver. Um, also, if you have an enlarged liver, it can help reduce that, probably because you're releasing fat as well as inflammation. It's coming down because one of the things that fasting will do is it gets rid of inflammation. So if your liver enzymes are elevated, fasting could greatly help you because it gives the liver and the immune system a chance to reset and heal. And you can also improve fibrosis and scar tissue or even cirrhosis because you're decreasing the inflammation. And you're also stimulating something called autophagy, which really starts to kick in about eight hours, 20 hours. Autophagy is the recycling of old damaged proteins. So if you have scar tissue fibrosis in the liver and you're doing regular intermittent fasting or periodic prolonged fasting, you can stimulate autophagy and really help to reverse the damage. The key is keeping your insulin low. Now, if you're overweight or obese, chances are you have high insulin because you have insulin resistance. If you're a diabetic, you really have high levels of insulin, uh, sometimes nine times higher than normal. So just by doing fasting, you can greatly improve the insulin levels bring that down, and that's when the magic starts happening. When you're eating, you're stimulating insulin. So in the presence of insulin, you can't release fat from the liver, you can't burn fat, and you have inflammation. So this is why intermittent fasting is so vitally important. There's actually an interesting gene that gets expressed or activated when you fast that helps to get fat off the liver. If you want more technical information about that, I put a link down below. One last thing about this other hormone called IGF, insulin-like growth factor number one. This hormone also increases when you're fasting, when you're not eating, and this is very similar to growth hormone. Growth hormone is a fat-burning hormone. It's anti-aging. It helps you with protein building and repair. Now, I know I said one last thing, but there's one additional thing I almost forgot about, and that would be taking choline. If you have a fatty liver, choline is a fantastic natural B vitamin to help speed up the reduction of fat off your liver. You can get it in a powder or a pill. I don't have a specific brand. You can just look around for something that has good reviews and try that. But choline is good. By the way, did you know that the food that is very high in choline is egg yolks? Yeah, interesting. Egg yolks can help with a fatty liver. You would think it's just the opposite. The other thing is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really good to help counter a fatty liver. It's also good to help stabilize blood sugars. All right, now I'm really done. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.